do work only when the rigid body undergoes rotation. Okay. So the formula that we're going to use is U M and this is you integrate theta two theta one m d theta okay in terms of math this is the most complicated equation that you see for this chapter okay so you have to take note m is a constant oh, sorry so when so theta one and theta two are based on the rotation okay based on the rotation that you will see so if or when uh, m is constant, okay, so m do not change with the angle, then um will be equal to m theta 2 minus theta 1. So the work of um is positive when theta 2 is greater than theta 1 and both are positive. Okay. Don't worry about the last term too much. Okay. Right, and the final form of the expression that we're going to do, we're going to apply this uh, equation when you use the principle of work. So this is known as the principle of work and energy, the governing equation. is T1 plus by summation of work done from point one to point two, and this is equal to T2. Okay. There's another method that I will teach, which we will, which we will probably do next week. Okay, so this is this week or today, we will focus on this, the next one. So the other method, is conservation of energy. Okay. And in conservation of energy, what you have is energy in must be equal to what? Energy out, like thermodynamics. Are you taking thermodynamics this term or not yet? Okay, some of, some of, some of you are taking thermodynamics. That rule stands. So what is state is T1 plus by V1 is equal to T2 plus by V2. Okay. So you know what is your T. The V is your potential what? Energy. Okay. So the other method is conservation of energy. So now we are going to focus on the first method. Okay, so if you go on Avenue to Learn, I pick this example because it considers everything and anything. And you guys, yeah, yeah, Eugene, we know you do those ridiculous ones. Okay. Now I deliberately pick problems like this. Okay. That it is not as long as reading Lord of the Rings. 
but you have to formulate the problem in your mind. Are we clear? So some of you who are taking 3E now, where are you? Where are the people taking 3E? So Bill is the only guy taking 3E. So when the prof asks question, the question is half a page long. Am I right, Bill? Right, half a page long. Okay, this question. Okay, so I want you to, I want like to train you to like gear in into words, word type of problem. Okay. I can't believe it, half a page long, <laughs> ridiculous. Right, so let's start. The wheel and the attached wheel have a combined mass of 25 kilogram and a radius of gyration about the center of Ka is equal to 150 millimeters. So what we see over here, whenever you see a diagram, label them if you can. This is the wheel. And what? Wheel. Okay. If pulley B attached to a motor is subjected to a torque M is equal to 60 bracket 2 minus E power of minus 0 0.1 theta, Newton meter, where theta is in what? Radians. Determine the velocity of the 100 kilogram crake. So we know that this is what we call a crake. After it has moved upwards 1.5 meters. So it is going to go up by 1.5 meters. Starting from rest. Okay. Neglect the mass of the pulley at point B. Okay. So we want to what at the end of the day, we want to predict BC. So we would like to determine uh, velocity the crate and we call it our VC. Okay, so that, that is our, our statement so the equation that we would like to use the the governing equation so we are we're going to we're going to solve this based on uh based on kinetic energy so kinetic and also based on kinetic energy and work done We know that P1 plus by U of summation of work done from 1 to point 0.2 is equal to what? P2. Uh, point 0.1, when we declare 1, it means the crick is at zero. Right. And declare at point two, the creek is at what? 1.5 meters upwards. Okay. So it's lifting. Lifting means work output. Yes or no? It's lifting. So if we were to look at the equation in terms of T, right? So if we if we if we were to look at T, so the general equation 
the general equation for t is equal to half and b squared plus by half ig omega squared. Now this formula will be provided. I repeat again. This formula will be what provided. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we 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 have to analyze the system individually. Then finally we have to assemble them together. Okay. Formula is really straightforward, not difficult at all. Right. So now if you look at the you can see that the moment is a function. Do you panic? No, right? We have just written what? We have just written on the previous page. The work done by the moment is just you integrate M as a function of what? E theta. Okay? Nothing, nothing difficult. Okay. Easier than mechanical vibration. So from here, let's consider all right let's consider the wheel and the attach reel okay. rotating about the fixed axis. Okay. So we are going to focus on the wheel and the reel. Okay. So where we are focusing, we are focusing this part of our system first. Okay. We focus this part of the system first. So we are given that so before before we go on, right, we 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 declare right at T1, right, zero height, no top is applied. So therefore P1 is equal to what? Equal to zero. Nothing is moving, the thing has not been lifted yet. So we know that T1 is equal to zero. So whatever we calculate now is going to be for what? T2. Okay, so we are we are we are we are going to uh, formulate T2, which is kinetic energy when uh, when the displacement, when what, when the mass is moving upwards. Okay. So the first thing we know is Ig is equal to mk squared. So given to us the mass of the wheel and the attached reel is 25 kilogram, right? And then the what? Uh, the the K two is equal to 0 0.15 squared. So this will be equal to 25. Zero point five six two five kilogram meter squared. Okay. So we are going to calculate the kinetic energy okay, of the wheel.
okay, of the of the wheel and sorry and wheel 